how's it going? Welcome back, this is Sarah. I am finally seeing the sunshine today. After four days of non-stop rain, we've got the sun shining and I'm in the mood to do some sewing. Um, I found this pattern in my stash. I've had it for a while now. Um, and I feel like it's a challenge. It's a challenge coming on. It's a one hour sewing challenge. So I was gonna see if like it's possible to make a wrap skirt in an hour or less than an hour, I guess the uh, goal would be. So I feel like um, I've you pre, pre wash your fabric, cut everything out, cut your pattern pieces out, get everything sorted, get your machine ready, get your bobbin loaded. Um, I feel like it's a possible thing to do. So yeah, so fabric calls for cotton, cotton blends, um, gauzy fabric, chambray, anything basically you could make this with. Um, I chose a linen cotton blend in a really sort of nice maroon colour. Uh, I think that'll look really pretty. So I'm going to get my stuff all sorted now. So I'll, it's been pre-washed but it needs to be ironed. So I need to do that. Um, and because this is a second hand pattern, I feel like the pattern pieces have already been cut out. Um, I might need to just resize them. I think they've been cut to the to medium and um, I'll resize those. So I'll go and do that. Um, I'll load my bobbin with my thread and yeah, challenge accepted. <laughs> my calls 3145 from 2001. All right, so let's see how we go. Thank you. So I've laid out the pattern pieces here on the piece of fabric. Um, this is how they came out of the packet. So someone's cut them to medium size. There's actually a bit of a corner of the patterns missing here. Um, but yes, I've got the grain lines on all these pieces. So they need to run up parallel with the, um, the selvage of the fabric. Um, interestingly, that piece doesn't have a grain line, but it is center back, place it on a fold, so that's fine. But yes, I think what I might do is shorten it up to this C, this view C, because um, uh, I'm a little shorty over here. Uh, needs anything, <laughs> any way of making myself a taller. taller. So more leg shown, the better. <laughs> so there's my fabric layer. I think that'll work well. And once I've cut this piece out, I can unfold that back and then that'll be enough. Plenty of fabric there to cut that front piece out. Cool. So I have, it's the next day, and I've cut out my pattern. I've cut out my fabric. I've loaded my bobbin and I've loaded my thread. I've done my test swatch of my stitches that I'm going to do for the project. I've got my instructions here. I've marked out my darts. I've got my iron on. It's ready to go. Um, I've got my seam gauge. Make sure I'm sewing the right seams. And I think that's all. I think I'm ready to do this. Oh, I ended up adding some interfacing on my the wrap, the tie part of the wrap. Um, the instructions didn't say that, um, but yes, I've just done that and see how it goes anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll just swap cameras and we will do this. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. my wrap skirt um, the pattern said it would take me an hour it took me 49 minutes 31 seconds so yeah it was a bit of a bit of a easy it was an easier pattern um the probably the, the hardest but that took the longest was um hemming everything um there's no facing for the the waist um part of the skirt and it was just basically double fold and then <laughs> sew all the way around so 
Um, but yeah, kind of, it's yeah, really cute and lightweight, summery. I've got a, it's a cotton linen and yeah, it turned out really well. <laughs> I've got the darts on the back there and we have a little tie on the little side here. It's actually, I stuffed up the back. It should be on the side. Now, it's still worked out. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, cool. Hope you like it, watching the video and the presents, and maybe you can have a go at doing it too.